let us assume you have a voiceover recording ladies and gentlemen and you split it using the edit clip boundaries split function which i have comfortably assigned to the r key which you can assign yourself using edit preferences keyboard and then by searching for split it is here in edit menu clip boundaries split press r set ok so this is not split yet let's do that real quick here here fasten your seat belts and prepare yourself here 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 annihilate here here and here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sections i want to export each of these sections as a separate audio file unfortunately there is no automatic way to do it so this is how i would usually do it i would double click this and then go to file export export selected audio but in reality i would use a shortcut on my keyboard which is Control shift s in my case which you can set by going to edit preferences in keyboard search for export pick export selected audio hit Control shift s press set and ok so now i'm going to do that Control shift s perhaps create a new folder and then call this just a number zero one pick the format i will stick to wav at 16 bit and press save or just press enter all right and then i would repeat it so i would double click Control shift s type in zero two enter double click Control shift s zero three double click Control shift s zero four enter double click Control shift etc etc let's just do it a little quicker now and oh nope seven and then what's going up oh, wrong shortcut okay zero eight and then zero nine and then zero one zero okay done so that's one way to do it and this is how long it took me now the bigger my recording the more time this will take now there is a better way for this we're gonna need two shortcuts Control b and alt dot or alt full stop let's go to edit preferences keyboard and see what these do ctrl plus plus b add label at selection makes sense right because labels can be used for automatic export and alt plus dot next clip cool right so each of these sections is actually called a clip now so let's do it double clicking this one and let's start control b this creates a label below as you can see alt dot control b alt dot control b alt dot control b alt dot control b alt dot okay done now go to file export export multiple choose the folder this one's the right one but actually let's make a new folder pick the format everything is labeled so we don't need to include audio before the first label since we didn't give these labels any names to save time it doesn't matter whether we use a first or second name files system but the third one allows us to change the file name so let's call this export dash and let's hit export whoop and done let's check yep here are the files 3.21 megabytes just like the manual export all right turns out we didn't have to use the dash it already automatically adds one and very nice it also adds leading zeros so there you go that's how you relatively quickly especially if you have many 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 clips export different clips or export by the splits between clips in audacity use the time you saved to press the thumbs up button see you around in another tutorial ciao